Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to work this super cute and easy bow tie stitch. See the little bow ties? <laughs> Adorable. So like I said, super easy. It is a one row repeat, sort of. <laughs> you repeat one row and once you have enough to to uh, finish off your bow, then you work a different row and then start it all over again. So I have three different ones I want to show you here. We have this solid color one. And if you look, you see how the chain at the beginning is? I, uh, I go into a little more detail into that at the, in the tutorial. But you have this, and then we have this one where there is no chain at the beginning. And then I also wanted to show you, you know, the solid color and then the changing uh, two colors. And then I have this one where I just used up a bunch of my scrap yarn and did each bow a different color. But all you're going to need is whatever yarn you want to use for your project. So like I just said, mine was scrap. This entire little set right here, I did all of that out of my scrap yarn, Red Heart Super Saver and a six weight. Uh, or six weight, a six millimeter crochet hook. So uh, you can use whatever yarn you want to use. And then I just, I would recommend whatever uh, hook that that yarn recommends that you use. Um, and then a needle to weave in your end, scissors, that's it. So it's really easy. Um, let's see, what else did, did I want to tell you about before we get started? I believe that's it. So get your supplies and let's get started. Alrighty, so to get started, this uh, uh, stitch pattern, the chain multiple, is any multiple of 14 plus 2. So 14, 14, 14, 14 plus 2, okay? So I've got a chain of 44 here. So that's 42, that's 14 times 3 plus 2, 44. And to get started, we are going to... Start with a single crochet in the second chain from hook. So right in there. And then we're going to chain in the next three. So one, two, and three. So we have four single crochet right at the beginning of the uh, pattern. So now we're going to chain seven. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, skip seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet into the next seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that is our work. And that is what the repeat is for the uh, length of your chain. Chain seven, skip seven chains, double crochet into the next seven. Or I'm sorry, double. Single crochet into the next seven. And if you notice when I work that chain, we don't want to work that too tight because if we work it tight, our work is going to want to naturally start to lay like this. And then you're going to pull and, you know, try to uh, block it to get it to lay flat. So if you just work your chain nice and calm and loose, you're not going to get any of that tension um, from a tight chain. Sorry, I'm wiping my hook off. And I got it stuck in my sweater. Okay. So repeat across our row. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven, skip seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet into the next seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chain seven, 
five, six, seven. Skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've made it to the end. So to end my row, we're going to single crochet into the last four chains. One, two, three, four. All right. So there is our work. So our row uh, starts and ends with four single crochet. So for instance, um, you can see from the multiples I did, I did three multiples of 14 and you can tell because we have three beginning of bows, right? So let's say you did uh, five multiples of 14. By the time you made it to the end of the row, you would have five beginning bows. All right, so that was row one. Now let's move on to row two chain one and turn and all we are going to do is single crochet into that very first single single crochet into each single until your chain so like I said the beginning and the end we're always going to have four single crochet all right so now we're going to chain seven two three four five six seven come over single crochet into the next seven singles I gotta get some slack here one two three four five six one more seven chain seven four, five six seven jump over your chain seven single crochet into the next seven single crochets um so that's what you repeat across your row and then of course you know when you get to your end you chain your seven and then single crochet into the last four singles What did I just do? I looked away for a split second. <laughs> All right, so now we chain seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come over, single into the last four single crochets. And the last one is four. Okay, so now here is where I want to show you guys the difference in the beginning. So normally when we work our bow, we would have the beginning chain would not be into our first bow. And you can leave it like that if you want to. So like for instance, you know, if you wanted to have, put a border on there or maybe you wanted to tie some fringe in there, you know, whatever you wanted to do. If you want that beginning chain to not be in your bow, so you can have it to work, you know, any border or whatever you want to into it, all you do is chain one, turn, and repeat the same, the row two we just did. Single crochet into the first four, chain seven, jump over the chain seven, single crochet into the next seven, chain seven, jump over the seven, single crochet into the seven, all the way across, and then single crochet into your last four. Now, if you want to do it like I prefer to do it to where you do not have, let me change sides, where you do, or I mean, you do have that um, beginning chain in your bow, we are going to go ahead and work our uh, tie-off row. So we're going to chain one and turn, single crochet into the first four. Three and four. All right, so now what we're gonna do is chain three, just like always, don't do it too tight or too loose, and then what we're gonna do is come right down and slip stitch around all three of these chains. 
and there's nothing special about it. All I'm going to do is just come down, grab my working yarn, bring it around, slip stitch, chain three. Come back to my next set of seven singles and work a single into the next seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Chain three, come down, slip stitch around these three chains, chain three. Come back up, single crochet into the next seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got a knot in my yarn. All right, I'm to my last set. So I'm going to come down, slip stitch around all of my chains chain three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to chain three before I slip stitched. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. One, two, three. Come down, slip stitch around all those chains. Chain one, two, three. I'm going to come up and single crochet into my last four singles. And there you go. Chain one. Now, um, just uh, hold there. <laughs> I want to show you what we've got. So it looks a little wonky, right? So if we take this bottom chain and pull it, you know, and adjust that slip stitch around. Can you see how that slip stitch is moving all around? Or how the uh, chains are moving inside that slip stitch? That's going to get that bow to set nice and pretty. So I'm going to come to the next one. This one's really wonky looking. I'm going to just adjust all these chains around in here. And get this one. And there we go. So there are our three chains. Now, <clears throat> sorry, I had a bowl of cereal before I started filming. And it has like got my stomach all bubbly and <laughs> my throat's hoarse feeling. I, I don't know. I shouldn't have ate the, ate that cereal. Anywho. Okay. So if you want your piece to be a solid color, all you are going to do is chain one and turn and then repeat row two, single crochet into the first four. Well, let me turn it this way. Single crochet into the first four, chain seven, jump over the chain seven, single crochet into the next seven, chain seven, jump over, I should say bow, jump over the bow, single crochet into the next seven, chain seven, jump over, repeat that across until you get to the end, single into the last uh, four, chain one, turn. And you're going to repeat that until you have three chain sevens to, you know, work together for your bow. And then you're going to work the tie-off row where it's one single into your each of your singles, chain three, slip stitch around all three, or yeah, all three of your chain sevens, chain three, single crochet into uh, your next set of seven single crochets. Repeat that across till the end, single crochet into the last four. But if you want to change colors, I am going to go ahead and, so I've got that chain one right there, pull up a loop, and I'm going to cut. And I'm going to go ahead and just turn my work. Get my next color. Slip knot on my hook. Make sure you got plenty of tail to weave in. If you change color, like if you make a baby blanket out of this and you're changing color every uh, two row, you are going to have a bunch of ends. So definitely, definitely weave them in as you go. Okay, so the back of the last row we just worked is facing me. 
So I'm going to take my working yarn, slip stitch into the very first single, chain one, and I'm going to take this tail and I'm going to pull it to the side of my work, just like that. And then just keep working my pattern as usual. Single into each of the first four. Chain seven. Jump over your bow. And if you need to, get your finger in there underneath that chain three on the tie off round row, sorry, and uh, find that first single right there. And then count them one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. And that is just how easy this pattern is. And it makes a super cute, super cute design. Oh, that's upside down. Sorry. Just different color little bow ties. <laughs> So like I said, you just repeat that row two, single crochet into each of your singles, chain seven, jump over your bow, single into the next seven, chain seven, jump over your bow, chain one turn, and you repeat that till you have three chain sevens. And then you work your tie off row. So you single into each single, chain three, slip stitch around all three of your chain sevens, chain three, single crochet into your next seven. You repeat that across. And you just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and uh, end on your tie off row. So your last row, your last, um, <clears throat> there's my throat goes again. Your last bow will be tied off and then you can add, you know, just, you could do it just a double crochet border all the way around. Um, I just, I prefer this, the way this one starts and ends where you don't have just that awkward chain. But, you know, if you wanted to start like that, you could definitely put a tassel in there or um, leave it the way it is or pack a whole bunch of double crochet in there and make a big, uh, I would call it a fan, like the fan stitch, a big old fan stitch in there, single crochet across or double, uh, maybe half double, and then, you know, fan stitch in here. That'd be cute. And then if you did that, then go ahead and just work another round, a row. Why do I keep saying round? I'm sorry. Work another row and uh, just do the chain seven, jump over, single crochet across, then fasten off. Then you could do the same thing on this side. So you could have a big old fan here and a big old fan here. That's a cute idea. Okay. Anyway, that is the bow, uh, the bow stitch, the bow tie stitch. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little quick tutorial. I needed another filler. <clears throat> oh, for Pete's sake. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I needed another filler tutorial because I've got a cute baby boy set that I've just finished ready to film. And uh, I needed this before I could get ready. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. And most definitely, most definitely check out that description box. I have links in there for my Facebook group, my Instagram, my, um, I think it's called X now. It's not Twitter anymore. Uh, so, and, and if you make a project out of this, let's say a baby blanket or a dish towel, you know, whatever you want to make out of it, I would love to see it. So you can tag me in it, in your picture, or you can uh, post it to my Facebook group, whatever you want to do. So just so I can see it, because that makes me super happy to see when you guys make something out of what I teach you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get off here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.